they were almost to the point where they couldn't even get them out. So this probably would have been a double fatality. Ohio State Highway Patrol Sergeant Tim DeArmid says it was a few good Samaritans that saved a man's life by pulling him out of a burning vehicle. One of the heroes, Trevor Worrell. It's actually, it was right here. But it wasn't until later Worrell learned the man he helped save is the 20-year-old suspected drunk driver, now responsible for the death of a passenger in the vehicle he collided with. It happened just before 5.30 Thursday morning along State Route 18. Worrell on his way to work. In Montrose, right before I-77, I saw a vehicle with no headlights on, uh, swerving between the lanes. That's when he says he called police, but then lost sight of the Ford Fusion coming up a hill, only to spot it again on the opposite side of traffic. They were both bowed up a little bit and had spun off of each other. And then he says the suspect's vehicle just burst into flames, as he described one person using a small fire extinguisher. One gentleman jumped in the back seat to try and get the seatbelt off. But at one point, they had to back away until Worrell says a second fire extinguisher bought him enough time to finally cut the seatbelt with his work utility knife. They pulled the dry Driver out, who Sergeant DeArmid says is believed to be from Mexico. Not only are officials looking into the legal status of the suspected drunk driver, we're looking into the fact that maybe the suspect vehicle was reported stolen. We're still confirming that. It's definitely, definitely upsetting um, that people lost lives. Uh, but what it really came down to is it didn't matter whose fault it was. It was just. I was more concerned with helping who I could. On your side in Medina County, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.